Hi, I'm Amanda. Aww, I wasn't ready. You're never ready. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Megan. And we're Megan and May. May. Oh, that wasn't as annoying as I thought it would be together. So today we found ourselves out shopping while Amanda's visiting me in North Carolina. <laughs> we pull up to the mall thinking that everything's going to be quite normal and that we're just going to go into Target and mm -hmm. a couple stores. Well, it didn't really turn out that way. <laughs> Megan's driving and I see out of the corner of my eye, World Market and I kind of scream for her to pull over and park because I love the world market. So we spent about, I don't know, a good hour. I think it was the most time of our day, like out shopping, we were at the world market. Oh yeah, easily. While perusing what the good aisles. Word. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I try. While perusing the aisles of world market, we realized that everything we wanted was Candy, sweets, and food. some type of food. <laughs> we really like to eat, like a lot. That's probably one of my favorite pastimes. And if it were a hobby, it would be mine. We decided that we would pull anything that we had heard about, anything that looked interesting, a variety of country choices for these candies and treats. I think we got a pretty good bunch. We went a little overboard. $40 later. <laughs> We have a whole bunch of things to choose from. A whole stack of food. Since it is all from World Market, it's all easily available for us in America. So, disclaimer, by no means do we really know anything about favorite candies or like popular candies from these countries. We just chose things that looked interesting and we checked to make sure which countries they came from. And we apologize ahead of time if we are wrong. <laughs> yeah, if we totally mess up how to say it, like pronouncing it or if we totally just say it's from a country and it's not. This isn't one of those videos that where we chose the weirdest things from those countries. These are the things we thought looked the best. We'll try to do another video of the more obscure things if we can work that out. If I can convince this one. We'll see. We're gonna start with one of Amanda's favorites apparently and I am a little well, scared. I don't know if it's exactly the same but when I went to China I tried Something that looks very similar to this. So this is Japanese style and it's red bean mochi. Is that how you said it? Mochi. Are you excited? Does this look like a face of excitement? Oh, it's so cute, look. I love anything Asian, I'm just gonna say it now. She look. does. Do you want scissors? How did they do this? Open. God. Little wrappers. So I get my own? Yeah, I'm eating this one. Yay. And it's kind of like powdery. Is it like a powdered sugar thing? A little bit. And the filling, it like freaks you out because it says bean, but it's sweet. It'll surprise you. Okay. <laughs> you want to do it? You want me to go first? I'm really chewy. I'm not the texture I was expecting. Mm -mm. It's like bean paste. <laughs> that is good. It looks kind of weird though. I don't think it tastes like anything. You don't think it tastes like anything? I think it tastes like... I get more of the bean. You have no flavor. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's not... Well, it's, not it's not the same when it's packaged, I think. You yeah. know. Do we have a scale? One to ten? Yeah. One to ten what? One being, my tongue never wants this again. And ten being, this is it. What do you give us? I don't want a six. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a three. I mean, like, I could eat it every day and it wouldn't hurt, but I wouldn't want it every day. I could eat it. I could be told I need to eat it again. I would not enjoy it. Sorry, Japan. Megan's turn to pick. Those look real good. Okay. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'm gonna butcher the name. Hello! As you can tell, it's different lighting. The sun is gone. The, the sun has 
left for the day, which didn't happen immediately, of course. What <laughs> happened was we had some technical difficulties. Yeah. The camera stopped recording while we filmed two other foods that we picked out, so we're going to have to <laughs> redo some of it. That's all right there. Sorry. Bear with us. More frustration on our part. <laughs> I think when the video cut off, I was explaining that I am Word. going to butcher the name of whatever this wonderful and then thing is. Cut scene. <laughs> this <laughs> balsam de loba puff pastries with red currant filling. From what we can tell, they're a German treat, mm -hmm. but popular in other countries across Europe. So. There are these cute little pastries, and we think that they would be really good, either warm or with tea, mm. something to make them a little softer. They're very, very messy. They're really flaky, mm. but they're so good. They're really cute. I gave these it. an 8 out of 10. I was ready to eat these again, eat them in the morning, eat them after lunch. They're just a cute little She must them all day, every day. Yes. Okay. So we're going to eat again. <laughs> I think they're great. I think the red currant is fantastic. Is it supposed to be oh, cherry? These are good. Red currant. Oh. I think it's great. They're really good. She gave them an 8 out of 10. I gave them a 7. Just because, I mean, they're good. I just want to eat them every day. Mmm. I'm good to go. I was most excited about these, so I'm gonna go on my rant again. They're Kit Kats, except they're not like American Kit Kats. They have different flavors. Asian countries have like orange flavored, mint flavored. Any flavor you can think yeah, of. Yeah, like tons really. of different flavors. And I got really excited in World Market because I thought they would have all the different flavors. They didn't. But anyway, they have this other one. These are not Asian, they're from Bulgaria. Sorry, I'd already opened it open. <laughs> opened it open? I ripped it open. It's Kit Kat Chunky. I mean, I mean it's really it's wait, big. <coughs> <laughs> That's what she said. And they're hazelnut. And yeah. it has hazelnut cream on top of the Kit Kat wafers. It's called hazelnut cream. We're going to have to share this one because we already ate two of the three pieces. Cheers. <laughs> These are my favorite. I love hazelnut. Mm hmm. I gave him a 10 out of 10, like the second it hit my mouth. And the chocolate's different. She can't tell that it's any different. Chocolate's chocolate. I don't know if it's a different milk it's content. It's like milkier. But it's good. And with the, the hazelnut. The chocolate's thicker on it. Oh yeah, it's there's more like, There's more chocolate. It's chunky. It has to have more. Chunky means more. Mm. It's really good. That's my favorite. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I need it every day. I want these. I pick these out. Those look really good. Because we can read. And this is what the bag says. The bag says this. <laughs> um, these are Australian honeycomb crunch things. I'm really excited. They're called <laughs> mini, mini Chalk by Men's. Men's, M E N Z. Um, mini Chalk Honeycomb. You did good at that. I can open things. Like a boss. Oh my word. They're beautiful. They're just. Oh. <laughs> I love the end. They just look, I want to like, hold on, are you ready? Oh, are you just eating one? I just want to see what the inside looks like. Mmm. Not what I was expecting. I have to eat another one. It was mostly chocolate, like I don't really... But I think if it was more honeycomb, it'd be too much. You know? Oh, there we go. That's a good one. You don't like it, do you? It's okay. The chocolate... I don't like chocolate. Isn't my favorite. It's but I milk. like chocolate. I like that it's little and then it has the honeycomb. This tastes like some sort of overpriced candy you get at the movies. I mean, we don't have anything like that here though. No. I guess. It's kind of like crunch a little bit. Mm -hmm. But that's like Rice crispy. Yeah. Where, like honeycomb is kind of sticky in your teeth. I like that. <laughs> get some cavities going. Mmm. -hmm. It's nothing special to me. I get a five. I'd eat them again. I wouldn't buy it myself, but if someone got it for me, I I'd be happy. Five is neutral. Yeah. It's like, meh. My turn. Okay, I chose it and then I put it somewhere. <laughs> I'm choosing 
Swiss milk chocolate with honey and almond nugget. So it's kind of Toblerone. <laughs> we have these in America, and they're they're all over our stores. But Amanda hasn't had one. I haven't. And I've never even heard of it. Toblerone. I, yeah, I love Toblerone, and I mean, it's it's cool. It's like shaped like a a yeah. triangle. I think it's great. It's from Switzerland, apparently. The Swiss did this. I mean, the Swiss do pretty good chocolate. They did make Swiss Miss. I don't know how to open it, so I'm gonna totally tear it apart. No, 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 no. Oh, no, let me do it. I didn't even see that. There's a tab, guys. Ooh. Aren't they cute? Oh, wait, it has the name, like, imprinted. Yeah. I don't know. Just break, just break off one. Oh my goodness. Or two. <laughs> I want it two, apparently. I want it two. Ready? Well, you've already had this. I've already had this. Okay, my turn. Cheers. Thank you. Mm. I love the Toblerone. That's pretty good. That's right. Mm. The almond sticks in my teeth. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that. It's pretty good. I'd give it like a, a six and a half. Okay. It's very specific. I'm not neutral about it because I do like it. I like it way better than that honeycomb stuff. Mm -hmm. I'd give it an eight. It's, I do like it, but it's not my favorite. I think my whole mind would be changed completely with the dark chocolate. Probably. I may have picked this just because they're called ballerinas. They're ballerina cookies. I just think they're so cute. They're cookies with cocoa and cream, or a cocoa cream filling by Go to Berries. Where, where is this from again? What flag is that? We're not testing that. Read the fine print. <laughs> I will get it wrong. I don't know flags. Sweden. It says two to open. You see, she's so articulate and she like looks for those things. I just tear it open. I like details. Well, I mean, it says tear, but it's not tearing. Good lord. Look at that. Oh, that looks really good. Look at that. Look at that cookie. Oh, it's like a, it's kind of like an Oreo, but with a hole on top. Like. And then and it's not gonna focus. But it still sees it. It's seeing it. And then it's like a sandwich mm. with a hole. So you can see what goodness is inside. I kinda like that. That's good marketing. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh god. Almost ten times better than an Oreo. It 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 is. It's better than an Oreo. And instead of like... It's like, not sickeningly sweet. It's just good. I don't really go with a glass of milk. Mm. Like, you know how the Oreo's cream filling is kind of harder? Mm -hmm. Like, you can scrape it off with your teeth. This is like, it's soft. It is actually cream filling. I'm giving it a 10. I think it's my favorite so far. Packaging, the name. Hmm. The Swedish know what's up. It's your turn, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm going to choose Walker's Chocolate Chip Shortbread from Scotland. Look at it, it's got the nice, like, plaid print. You look at it and you automatically know that it's from Scotland. We have a whole bunch of this brand of treats in World Market. So, I mean, they're pretty popular around here as far as shortbread cookies and stuff. Yeah. Um, There's two, how convenient. Mm -hmm. May. Grazie. Mandy. It looks like a chocolate chip cookie. But it doesn't smell very good. No, it does not. It, it just doesn't smell pretty. I mean, it's fine. It just smells like sour. Okay, okay. You ready? Yep. I'm really dry. But lots of chocolate. Three. Four. Meh. I don't even want the rest of it. Again. Again. Be good into your coffee. Wow. That's exactly what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. It's been really good dumped in like a hot drink. Mm -hmm. For like. Here you go. 
Oh! I do like the packaging though. Oh yeah, anything with the flannel look. I like my basic plaid. So a lot of countries have Smarties, and I mean, not instead of M&M's, well, but more popular. We need to popular. differentiate because when you said Smarties at the store, I thought you were talking about like the little... Our Smarties in America are little like chalky candies that are really sweet. They're just... They're fruity. Pure sugar, basically, with like kind of... They're a little of... sour. No, those are sweet tarts. No, like oh, if you Smarties, suck on them. Yeah, I guess they're a little sour. Oh, look. I love the packaging. Yeah. According to Megan's Canadian friends. I've lived with a lot of Canadians in college and have a lot of Canadian friends and they all say that Smarties are far superior to M&M's. I've never heard I of that. love this packaging. It like comes out individually. Uh, it serves my purposes it's like so well. It's like a Tic Tac thing except it's all cardboard. I love it. Thank you European candies. Nestle. I love you. Except it's not coming out. There you go. I got one. Okay, we'll, we'll stick with one. I got three! <laughs> I got poop brown. Light purple and purple. The colors are so different than M&M's. M&M's are like, well, bam, colors. <laughs> yeah, these are more like or, painted on last minute. Okay. No, I'm but it looks more real. It, no. Like our colors look so fake. These look like they could have been colors in nature. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. That's an M&M. No, that's not. I think M&M's are way better. It, it, it honestly tastes like a knockoff brand of M&M's. I'm gonna be mean, I think I'm gonna give it a one. I wouldn't eat them. This is bad Easter candy. That's what these taste like. Mm -hmm. Tastes like depression and disappointment. It is, it's childhood disappointment. Oh, the rest of our stuff is basically well known in the UK, specifically I think England. We're not 100% certain that all of these are like UK based or originated, yeah. but Still, if, you know, some of these are popular in your country, let us know. I may have already opened this one because it had the words dark chocolate on it. And that's my favorite thing in the world. Okay. McVitis, McVitis, McVitis. Which one? Whatever brand it is. Well, I don't know. One of those is probably one right. One. Anyway, they're digestives, which I thought was a really odd name. It sounds kind of medical or yeah, like health related. Yeah, like like weird. instead of eating chocolate, I want you to eat your digestives. Like it should be good for you, not a cookie. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. The cookie just melts in your mouth. It's such a better biscuit than the shortbread cookies. Yeah, it's not hard chocolate. It's already melting all over my fingers, and I don't care. It's so good. Yeah, I'd give this a ten. Or nine. Ten. Ten I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save my ten. I have a feeling there's better out there. <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm with... Saying. I'm also gonna say nine. Yeah. I'll probably start buying these cookies. Oh. On a regular basis. They're really good. Next thing we're gonna try are Maltesers. If she finishes her cookie. <laughs> in America we have Whoppers. And Whoppers are malted milk balls covered in chocolate. Maltesers are the same thing, but <sighs> girl, got all of these stuff. Let me smudge. I'm smudged. Embarrassing. <laughs> Anyways, Maltesers are the popular alternative to Whoppers, and I think everyone has their opinion of which one is better. We love Whoppers, so I'm kind of excited to see what these are gonna be like. I know the chocolate's different. And I think that's the main thing that people have disagreements about. But I think also the chocolate to walk to malted milk Does ball ratio say? is different. You ready? That's good. There's definitely more chocolate than malt. I approve. I think the chocolate on a Whopper might be a little bit darker chocolate and I actually like those better and I like that it's more, it's a bigger malted milk ball. I mean I still really like them. I haven't had a Whopper in forever. I think they're fairly similar. Can't really do too much different with that. I think for me, because I still like the Whopper a little bit better, I'd give these a solid 8 though. Really? Yeah, yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. 
Honestly, I'm a kind of out of five. It's kind of meh. Oh, you don't care? I don't care. I'm really curious about this. Let's we'll go for it. Arrow. Apparently, <laughs> feel the bubbles. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. I'm like expecting to be like pop rocks or something. Yeah, like, yeah, that, that's what I think. Of, <laughs> but I, I, I hope it's not like that. I, mean, I don't think so. I think it's just gonna be like that. Don't we have something like that where it's like air? Instead of a solid chocolate bar, it's like. Yeah. Yeah, has the like, air bubbles mm -hmm. on the inside. I so think Hershey's has a bar that's like that. Yeah, and it's like lightweight, so it's mm -hmm. less calories mm -hmm. or something like that. And then it even looks like little bubbles. Alright, ready? Uh huh. I don't feel them though. I feel it. The texture. Oh, I got them. That's good. Yeah, I want another. That's good. I'll have another. Who said that? Thor. Thor said that. Shh, don't tell them. I know. Testing your loyalties. Eight. Yeah. I need it. It's good. I think it's on the same level as a Malteser for me. I am not sure how, how to say this. I think it's Toffee Fay in America. But it's spelled differently in some countries, but I don't know if it's the exact same thing. We'll try it. Cool. What exactly is it? Is there some description? It's a whole hazelnut and chewy caramel with chocolate hazelnut filling and chocolate. So I mean, can't go wrong with it. Yeah, I was about to say hazelnut. I want to see if this holds its own against Ferrero Rocher because I love Ferrero Rocher. Oh, I think I'm really gonna like these. Me too. Your Majesty. Chewier than I thought it would be. <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. I like how it says brings all your favorites together. Mm, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it, but like I said, I don't really like stuff that sticks in my teeth. Six. I'm going to solid nine. Not my favorite thing out there, but definitely close to it. I eat the whole thing in probably one sitting and not feel sorry about it. All right, we have one more. And we both already know that we really like this one. Or from what I remember, I like this one. For my family, it's a tradition. Some of the countries overseas, the European countries, have this tradition too for Christmas to have a chocolate orange. Our family does it every Christmas. It's not a tradition in my family, but I know I've had one. You gotta crack it. Oh my word, I don't think I've ever gotten to do that. Hit it on the wall. On the wall? So I crack it before? Yeah, you crack it before you open. Oh. I don't think it worked. Yeah, and you do it on the wall. I mean, I... don't shove your hand through the wall. <laughs> yeah, okay. Did it work? I don't know. I feel really destructive. Okay. Did you get one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yay! I love how they're always, it's like sliced oranges. Yeah. Good oh presentation. My gosh. Good presentation. The citrus smell. It's just perfect. I almost already want to give it a 10 just for that. Oh, I know it's going to be a 10 because it's like... Oh, and it's dark chocolate. You ready? Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. It's so good. Whoever decided chocolate and oranges was a good thing. I love you. It's like the orange is an aftertaste. It's so how to do it, but I love it. Well guys, that was it. That's all we have. Thanks for watching. Yeah. It was fun trying a few new things that I had never heard of before. Yeah, we learned a lot. We learned what we like and what we don't like. <laughs> and it was eating, so I highly enjoyed it. You should comment and tell us what you think of these things. If you've tried any of them, tell me like what your rating would be for them. Maybe. Tell us what you like in your country. Or yeah, um, if there's beautiful. other things that you've tried that you think we should try, that would be really great. Let us know. And you're from another country. You better comment. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other channels once we post our videos on those. Uh, we will have our separate channels from when we're not together. And we'll keep on doing videos like this on um, the Mandy and Mae channel where we can come together and do all of our weird little activities. <laughs> I'm Mandy. 
I'm May. Peace. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Megan. And we're Mandy and May. <laughs> I stopped because I was like, crap. Okay. <laughs> I I don't even remember what I said. It was so good. It's one of my favorite pastimes. If it could be a pastime, it would be mine. I can't remember everything I say. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Here's what I found on the web for Japanese read the mochi. Mochi. Maybe I need to look that up again.